Large bee infestations can pose health and safety risks, but not all bees can be treated the same. Bumblebees and carpenter bees may not produce honey, but the bumblebee is a vital pollinator for our crops, flowers, and trees, and carpenter bees are wood-infesting pests that will burrow into and weaken wooden structures on our property, so it's important to be able to distinguish between the two. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about pest control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. To distinguish between bumblebees and carpenter bees, examine their physical characteristics. Bumblebees have a soft, fluffy appearance with hair covering their head, thorax, and abdomen. These hairs aid in pollination. Carpenter bees, while also having hair, feature thinner coverage limited to their thorax and possess smooth, hairless abdomens. Both bees are smaller insects, but the bumblebee only grows up to three quarters of an inch in length, while the carpenter bee can grow up to one whole inch in length. Finally, bumblebees have the yellow and black striped pattern you'd expect of any bee, and carpenter bees are mostly black, but some species may have yellow thoraxes. Another way to tell bumblebees apart from carpenter bees is to locate and observe their nests. Bumblebees establish their nests underground, often in abandoned spaces left by rodents. They also inhabit shaded areas, such as those between rocks, under sheds, or even above ground in empty bird nests. These insects live in colonies with a single queen constructing wax cells for honey, eggs, and nesting materials. Carpenter bees are solitary insects that typically nest in and around eaves, the exteriors of homes, fence posts, and wooden structures like porches, decks, or rails. While they don't consume wood, they burrow into it. Their damage to wooden surfaces is generally minor unless a significant number of them have created numerous tunnels over time, resulting in half-inch diameter holes that lead to galleries used for egg-laying, pollen, and nectar storage. Since bumblebees are an important, pollinating insect, we'll only go over carpenter bee control. If carpenter bees are left unchecked, their burrows can weaken wood structures and may cause major property damage. Be sure to wear your personal, protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets away from treated areas until dry. To treat an active carpenter bee infestation, use a product like Fipro Foaming Aerosol. Fipro is an expanding fipronil-based product that leaves a long-lasting, undetectable residual barrier. Just inject the foam directly into the holes the carpenter bees have created. To stop future infestations, use Dominion 2L. Dominion 2L is a suspended concentrate made with imidacloprid. Mix and apply this product at the labeled rate of 0.3 to 0.6 fluid ounces per one gallon of water. Spray wooden structures on your property and wherever else you've seen galleries, then allow the product to dry completely. This product will prevent the infestation of treated areas for up to three months. Distinguishing between bumblebees and carpenter bees is crucial to our safety and the environment. While bumblebees are mostly harmless insects that are vital in pollination, carpenter bees will infest wooden structures, causing expensive property damage. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, bee control is made simple, and we offer free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.